In this tutorial, we'll take a look at a few of the details from A Ghost from the Graveyard animation that I have posted. And you should be familiar with all my 2.638 tutorials and quick tip tutorials. So basically, you should be fairly well grounded in the basics because I'm going to start kind of passing up on those details as we go in here. So what we have here is just a simple ghost in the scene. Let's just run it. And it just comes back out of the grave. And there's just a few things. Most of, if you followed my tutorials, this might be obvious to you already. All right. But for those of you who haven't, then uh, there's just a few pointers I want to uh, point out right here. In the ghost, of course, is a cloth object. And let's just look at the physics effects on here. And it is, it's got a cloth setting here. And let's see, it's got a ghost group. Oh, I guess misspelled that. It is the ghost group? Let me go back here so you, so you can actually see it like this. Oh, there it is. It looks on highlight. That's very strange. It looks like it's not active, but it is right here for some reason. All right, so it's got that, and then we'll look in the uh, vertex groups, and you can see it's just this one group. And if I go into edit mode, they're all weighted at 0 0.1 like that and so it's just a basic cloth like this let me press delete so I can get or DEL and I have kind of tailored a little bit so it's not completely square so that way it lays down a little bit I did that with the uh, proportional editing of course as you may have seen in my other tutorials and then the emission of the light is what's really important let's go take a look at the thing here notice here there's not a lot in the scene because I wanted a fairly dark scene basically for a nighttime scene and I wanted the ghost and the light in the scene to really be the active interest so let's see what I had in the scene I have this light here it's just a hemisphere light quite low energy 0.1 yeah I think that was it in the scene I had for light let's see did I have one other light oh no yeah there is another scene, another light but that's associated with the ghost so let's just take a look at at the let's go back into edit mode with the ghost that way we can see where the light is so parented to the ghost right here I have another light right there there's a light that's a point light all right and that's parented to that and then um, and then where is the sphere there's a sphere and there's the sphere as well let's see if we can see the sphere let's go in the wireframe mode real quick so there's a sphere and I use that to drape the ghost over the cloth over the top of it like that and that's why in this particular case I had started the scene with the uh, ghost below the surface so it had time to drape over the sphere and fall down though you could just model it that way as well and then uh, what are the other point? Oh, and then the lighting. The lighting on this, notice it's this kind of color here. So it was a dark scene, so not much illumination in the scene. But when you come down here, I have a uh, specular way down. And then I have, where is this guy? Mm -hmm. I have a mitt at 0.25. I must have dropped that back down after I changed the... Uh, added the light underneath so when it traveled around it had the uh, the light was helping to illuminate the ghost as well as the surface beneath it as you can see if you look close and the reflection is nothing more than just a little specularity in the surface plane like that uh, the trees were basic let's see what else it had in this scene uh, oh yeah the most important thing the wind so the ghost notice the cloth is sitting sideways so the way I did it was I have a wind object blowing towards the cloth but in order to maintain that I have this parented to notice the wind is parented either to the cloth or the sphere and then there's another object where is that guy let's see let's move him up no it's not that Where is it? Maybe I was using the empty. Nope. Is it that there? That's the camera? No, I thought I had a uh, cube I was using. Oh, there it is. I have a cube in the scene right there. And so what that is, 
the ghost is parented to the cube, the wind is parented to the ghost, and that way as it's moving around there's always a wind blowing towards the ghost as this is rotating through the scene because that's all that is is if I press RZ here you can see the sphere moves and the ghost would follow in that sense all right and so that's what I did I parented that's parented to that the lights the wind is parented to that that way you can always have the wind effect otherwise the cloth is just going to hang straight down and you won't get the effect of it flying through the scene all right, and that's pretty much the details of that I did. It's pretty straightforward otherwise, and I didn't put any collisions, so the cloth can cloth of the ghost can just go right through anything. So let's just look at it one more time, real quick. Alt A. All right. Okay, well that's it for this lesson, and I'll see you in the next video.